The Seasonic Prime TX700 Titanium is part of the new revised Seasonic Prime series of power supplies. This revising made by the company was done to offer a more streamlined naming scheme and also a better overall design of each packaging. The Prime TX700 Titanium is available for around 260 US dollars or euros, which is not exactly cheap for a power supply, however it is very cheap for a titanium rated power supply with 12 years of warranty. So keep that in mind for later. The design of this power supply is close to that used by the original Prime series, however there are some notable differences. First of all, the color scheme is a reference to the efficiency grade of the unit, in this case titanium. Thus the only colors found on the casing of the power supply are made black and dark silver. However, the highlight of this design is at the front, and it is the metallic fan grille, which sports a widened honeycomb pattern on the front and has a smooth chrome texture. The prime emblem, which is placed on the center of the fan grille, is also chromed because why not? This is a small thing to do in a sea of power supplies that have RGB fans and RGB cables or RGB connectors, and some reflective stickers to add insult to injury for your eyes. In fact, this design has some thought put into it, as the chromed elements found on the power supply make a great contrast with the satin made black finish of the casing. Nothing short of seasonic quality. The sides of the power supply are certainly different than what other brands are doing. And I'm saying this because both sides actually have spaces for the air to enter and exit from inside of the power supply. How much this might help with the cooling of the internal components is still pretty debatable. However, it is a design feature that also serves a functional role and looks quite good from all angles. Don't forget the prime emblem which is also chromed just as a fan grille at the front to complete both sides of the power supply. The modular connectors are all black and thankfully labeled with clear white lettering which is actually paint and not just a sticker. There are a total of 13 separated connectors for the modular cables, however some cables will use two connectors instead of one, such as the 24 pin cable powering the motherboard. The exhaust side of the power supply is pretty simple, with one exception. Here there is the fan control switch, which will toggle between the two operating modes for the included fan, normal or hybrid mode. In easy terms, in hybrid mode the fan will remain stopped until a certain temperature is registered inside the power supply, and after that temperature is reached, then the fan will start to spin following a custom fan profile. The normal mode is just that, the fan idling at a low speed and then increasing in speed with the heat registered by the internal components. The cables used by the Prime TX750 Titanium are all black and are flat to make the whole cable management process easier. The ribbon style flat cables have a decent flexibility and should pose no issues when routed around your system, especially around tight spaces and openings. The only cable that is not flat is the 24 pin cable that is powering the motherboard. This, thanks to its size, is not flat but it is instead covered by a good quality sleeving and also it is flexible enough for where it needs to be. However, before we get into anything else, we need to see what is delivered with this power supply and we start with the user manual, which contains all the relevant information about your power supply. Then we have 5 Velcro cable straps, a 24 pin bridge adapter to turn on the power supply without a system, 4 metallic screws, a case badge and 12 plastic zip ties for wire management. So everything is pretty basic. The fan used by this power supply has a size of 135mm and uses a fluid dynamic bearing system. This fan is made by Honghua and has the model number HA13525L12FZ. This particular fan has been used in many power supplies made by Seasonic and other manufacturers as well. In terms of the specifications, this fan has nothing that I can find that is the exact same information. More than likely, this model number is used for multiple fan models and thus the exact specifications are impossible to pinpoint, as each manufacturer has different requirements from these fans. This fan is also connected to the power supply through a simple 2-pin connector. This is important to mention as it makes the replacement and servicing of the fan very easy. However, given the track record of Seasonic and these fans, replacement will never be needed. And now it is time to see what is inside this power supply and to be more specific, what creates such a high level of efficiency. And this means that it is time to void some warranty stickers and do the thing which you shouldn't do, which is to open up your power supply. Really, don't ever do it. 
This is the Seasonic Titanium platform and it is being used in plenty of Seasonic modules with different wattages and even efficiency ratings, albeit with small modifications here and there to better suit the price and purpose of each power supply model. The passive cooling is done by no less than 5 aluminum made heat sinks, each placed in a strategic position to better cool the central components of the power supply, such as the VRM. The main capacitors used are made by Nippon Chemicon. These have a maximum operating temperature of 105 degrees Celsius and have the following specifications. Notice that these capacitors are not the same size but work together on the primary stage of the power supply. The filtering starts at the back and unfortunately most of the components back here are protected by two covers, one made out of metal and the other one made out of clear plastic. I was unable to remove either of them, so you have to believe the specifications that say that behind those two we have two X and two Y capacitors. The filtering then continues on the PCB itself with four Y capacitors and two chokes. For the protection of the platform a well-trained WT7527 is used. In simple terms, this chip is what gives a power supply its fancy protections, such as over power protection, over voltage protection and under voltage protection. There are many more available especially on this unit, but I will be just wasting your time mentioning everything. The MOSFETs used on this power supply are the Infineon IPP50R140CP. These are rated for 550 volts, 15 amps at 100 degrees Celsius. As you can see, the MOSFETs are making direct contact with one of the aluminum made heat sinks. Just like many other Prime series power supplies, the Prime TX750 Titanium has a wireless internal design. This means that the usage of cables and wires to connect the various components together is kept at a minimum or completely done through the PCB itself. This not only increases the reliability but it also improves the cooling as the airflow generated by the fan has less restrictions inside the power supply. Now that you've got a general idea of how this power supply works and how it's got this high efficiency, it's time to actually test it. And while power supply testing is one of the hardest things to do, not only because it is a complex system itself, but because testing a power supply also requires expensive equipment. I will be using my own system to place a load on the power supply and then measure and calculate the efficiency. It may not be the most scientific and accurate method, but for now it will work just fine. In addition, a multimeter is also used to measure the voltages on all rails and this is done by connecting the multimeter to one of the main cables of the power supply. And with a system that uses around 500 watts of power at its maximum, the Prime TX750 Titanium reached an average efficiency of 94.2%, which places this unit at the top of all charts. This was to be expected as the Seasonic Prime TX750 Titanium is the very first power supply with the Titanium certification that I've reviewed as of today. All this being said, this is a great result, which shows the true quality of the internal components. Measuring the voltage oscillation is done as I've previously mentioned by connecting a multimeter to one of the main cables of the power supply. Then measuring the voltages when the system is running at its maximum power draw of 500 watts. And here is the same deal as with the previous efficiency test, with the Prime TX750 Titanium remaining at the top of the charts with an overall voltage oscillation of approximately 0.4%, which is a great result again. And finally, the noise generated by the fan, which is measured in the case of this unit only when there is a load placed on the power supply, as the idle speed is either very low or the fan is completely stopped, depending on what fan mode you choose to use. And the average sound level of the Prime TX750 Titanium is 17 decibels, with the measuring device placed at a standard distance of 10 cm away from the system and power supply. The Seasonic Prime TX750 Titanium is one of, if not the best power supply I've ever tested so far. And it's not just the performance, but the whole package. The build quality is very good, the soldering is great and the noise output is minimal. In fact, the fan is barely audible when the whole system was being pushed for maximum power draw. The price of 260 US dollars or euros is certainly not low, but this level of quality and performance is certainly worth it. 
The new Seasonic Titanium platform has a great start and if every unit will be as good as this one, then it will certainly be a hit, especially in a market that is overcrowded with RGB and useless features that only bump up the prices and nothing else, a thing which should not be done when it comes to power supplies. The Seasonic Prime TX750 Titanium is then a worthwhile investment, especially when the manufacturer is offering a 12-year warranty on all their models. If you liked this review, then you can consider subscribing for more. And also, if you want to support the channel in a direct way, then in the description below you can find both the Patreon and Subscriber Star pages.